Ho ho ho, and welcome again to another video on Advent of Cyber. It's day 13, and we're gonna do some pack analysis today. So, that is the guy <coughs> who did the official walkthrough, and I just downloaded the actual PCAP file from the machine. You can do that by starting a Python 3 web server and W getting it directly to your machine. I just renamed the file because it had some weird name and it messed up my download, so I renamed the file to AOC. <clears throat> so I opened it in Wireshark and we have a, I don't know how many packages there is, but we have an okay amount. Let's see, you can just sort it, we cannot. Uh, where is it, the small thing? Need to pull, uh, it is based like that, it's fine. So we have a small amount of packages, you know, and I don't really know how much, but we can go up into statistics and capture file properties. And we can see here that we have 1,421 packages and the spawn time is 10.492 bytes are, it's captured within this moment. So it's a very, very fast capture the same time of day, just the same minute, the second, so it's a 10 second uh, capture. This is planned, of course, so let's go ahead and see if we can answer the questions. So the very first question would be, ah, da, 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 da. What, is the, what is the percent packets value of the hybrid six transfer protocol? Looking, looking protocol hierarchy, so let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, protocol hierarchy, where were they? Have this, there we go. Protocol hierarchy, the percent packages of HTTP, it's 0.03%. Uh, what is the port number that received more than a thousand packages? We can go ahead and navigate to TCP. So TCP is the reason for in the protocol suite. TCP holds ports, so let's go ahead to statistics. And let's, what was the question one more time? Uh, which port number have received more than a thousand packages? And we can navigate to the TCP section. So let's just see which port number Resolved addresses, endpoint. I think we can use that one, maybe. Nope. Which port number? <coughs> so we need to find the, the TCP, and I don't, it's not the best tool in the world for me. Let's see conversations. Mm. Did they navigate to TCP? That is, what do they mean by that? TCP section, transmission, uh, view the conversations. Oh, wow, okay, I see. So, <coughs> conversations to the TCP, and we see that more than 10,000, more than 1,000 packages. That would be this one there. That would be port number. Five, four, six, five, three. That is not the correct number. Three, three, eight, nine. So what is that kind of port? So you can go to Google and say like port three, three, eight, nine, and you will get a direct here TCP service. What is that for? And you can go ahead and check it out. And it looks like it's remote desktop protocol. So that is the one we will keep in mind now. What is the service name of the used protocol? That's RDP, we just <laughs> casually looked it up. Fill the DNS packages. What are the domain names? Enter the domains in alphabetic order and defanged format. So the format would be domain dot .cz, domain dot .cz. So the hint would be CypherChef can defang. Well, we learned that, I guess. So we can go and check out, uh, let's see. I think I remember, whoops, that being in 
Could it be endpoints? No, we were at endpoints, probably not. So that would be, let's see, let's see, let's see. DNS, maybe. And no, that is not the ones. Resolved addresses, maybe. All entries, hosts. Ah, oh, that's the best festival. And comma. And that. Incorrect. What is that? Is it not those? TMH. Oh, wait a second. Maybe I am. DNS packages. What are the main names? Okay, so let's go ahead and just filter out DNS. Right, DNS. So we had the very first here. It is. I do see these kind of names again. Uh, let's right click and say follow UDP stream. Bandit Yeti. Yes. And this one here is follow TCP st UDP stream. Best festival company. That is the names we get, but they want with what? Fall? Fall? I don't really. Oh, they, they want me to do that? I don't really get it, I must be honest. Maybe I'm just a little bit tired today, which I am, but it doesn't stop me from solving this room. I'm pretty confident this is the domain name, so I just need to put on these weird, I don't know. Yeah, I I had it the first time, they just want those, I don't know why, but they do. Fill the HTTP package, let's do that then. And the filters, by the way, up here in the bar, I just, where I just write HTTP, then I filter out, and we can see different kind of stuff, so we can see that, you know, let me do it, maybe make this a bit smaller so we have more space to see. So what you see here is basically um, the info. You can see that there was a get request to the exe file, mystery gift. And that is from yesterday's challenge. We noticed that this was some of one of the, um, it was the, so, okay. So we should take this here. I just forgot the name. Click it and open the Hypersec Transfer Protocol below. We can see the domain name is Bandit CDN. On the root of that uh, directory, we can see that there is an exit file called Mystery Gif we downloaded. So, what do they want me to do? What are the file names? What are the names of the requested files? So, okay, they, they want me to do Mystery Gift. So. A mystery gift dot exe and fav icon dot ico. I want that weird stuff again. They will get it. Thank you. Which IP address download the file? So we got to check and check that here. It is the ten ten twenty nine. So let's take it and say copy. Um, it was 1010, so why is the more stars? Answer in defense, why do they want me to do that? That is so weird. I really get it. Um, so, they want me to put these weird signs and do the fast way, I guess. Let's put the letters, the signs, whatever. No. 10, 10, 29, That was the IP address that downloaded it. In a defanged format. So three, okay, so they want
what? I don't get it. What I picture is download the executable file. Enter the Maybe I. Th that is the IP address. 102986. Downloaded the. Yes, I'm getting DC rolls, it's changing back. So they want me mm, to do that. I don't know. That is the IP address. Then I'm one light way. Let me just check it out pretty fast. Oh yeah, yeah. I was just thinking and looking at it. They want me to put. They want these dots to be surrounded by. They. It, it's so miss. You know. It's. It's like. No. I don't. Okay. So anyway, that's the way they want it. Now we need to enter um, which domain address hosts the malicious file. Enter in the defanged format. And that is what we saw just before. It is the CDN here. So let's right click and copy the value. Go back, put it in, and we're gonna copy paste these. Now we need to remember that the dots are, whoop, these things. I don't really care, but let's put them there. What is the user agent uh, value used to download non-executable files? So go back. Click the non-executable file, and got a user agent there. It is nim http client. So copy value. Go back in a defang format. No. Oh, sh there we go. What is the SHA two fifty six hash value of the executable files? And what do we want me to do then? So they want me to find it on. Uh, virus total. So we're gonna go ahead and vi navigate to virus total. And virus total is a really good website where you can find stuff and files. Let's just uh, search directly and write mystery gift dot x. No. And yes, t one gift. That is not what I want me to write. No. So did I do something wrong? Then also I just over the file. Okay, so export the pcap file, calculate the file hashes. Oh so we need to export the objects then and then we're just gonna go ahead to Wireshark and press file and export HTTP objects because it's HTTP. There's two files we have right there, so we need to save them somewhere and that would be in... Uh, save all in the Kaylee home directory. And create a folder and call it day 13. And choose that, and save all. Let me just verify if I have it. So let's go clear, day 13, and we have it right there. So shot, uh, what do we want again? The, the shot 256. Sum of the mystery gift. That's the one. So copy that. Now they want me to do what is the connected IP address? In the IP address is the defanged in initial order. So a multiple IP address sources with the file. Search the hash value and virus total. Navigate to behavior sections. Okay, so take that hash now. Go to virus total. Put in the hash, and we're gonna go to behavior. And. We will somewhere find how many addresses do they want. One, two, three. So we will find T three TCP IP 
So I'm defanged or what? Oh, they do. So let's take a new one here and delete this, that, and that, and then also this, that, and that. Let's defang one of them. Whatever. I think that's a kind of weird task to defang, you know. I don't know why they do this, but this is just not something that I could use. Alright, let's put it in. Wait, not not now, not now, not now. Let's do let's do let's do comma separation. So let's put it up, comma, put it up, comma. Then let's put it in and we have it and we're done. So in this room we, we look for different kinds of things in a packet analysis using Wireshark. And I have multiple videos on my channel about Wireshark and package analysis. And they do all have a certain theme. And uh, you should definitely watch them if Wireshark package analysis is for you. So just want to say that now that we solve the room. <laughs>